Well, hello everybody. Today I'm here with the explanation of the poem My Mother at 66, which is written by Kamla Das, the Indian author. This poem is a part of class 12th syllabus. So I'm going to discuss this poem in detail today. Let's see the content part. So here it's explanation of the poem. Then there would be summary for you, followed by conclusion. Then I would be discussing on message of the poem along with poetic devices which are used in the poem, then theme and at last the significance of the poem. So let's move ahead. In first set, I have taken line number one to four. Driving from my parents' home to Cochin last Friday morning, I saw my mother beside me. So in these lines, the poet recalls a trip back to Cochin from her holiday in her parents' house the previous week. And it was a Friday. And that morning, she was driving with her mother next to her on the front seat. Next set is line number 5 to 10. Those open mouth, her face ashen like that of a corpus and realized with pain, looked but soon put that thought away and so in these lines the poet says that she was observing her mother who had fallen asleep on the front seat with her mouth slightly open so her mother was sleeping and the mouth of her mother was slightly open right so her mother's face was pale and it reminded her of the nearly white faces of dead bodies it is then that she comes to realize that her mother was not young any longer. It means she was growing old. And that her appearance had caught up with her age. This was very hard for the poet to accept. So she was determined to focus her attention on something else. Moving to next set of lines 11 to 15. Looked out at young trees sprinting the merry children spilling out of their homes but after the airport security check standing a few yards away i looked again at her one pale so in these lines she says that she turned away from her aging mother and looked outside the window of the car Outside her eyes fell on the trees that the vehicle was passing by. The car was moving so fast that by way of relative motion, it seemed to the poet that all the trees she could see were also running at full speed past her. So it was, you know, like she was having a glimpse quickly. It seemed that those trees must have been quite youthful if they had the energy to move at such a fast pace. The poet also observes the children coming out of their houses, brimming over with their excitement to get outside. You know, children, when they come out, they are so excited to play or they, they are so excited to express themselves. She notices all these to distract herself by the sights till she reaches airport, right? So she was just trying to distract herself because she was feeling sad about her mother. So, however, after the security check, she was standing a short distance away from her mother. And again, she chanced to notice the old woman, her mother. Just as before, her mother appeared pale and insipid. So moving to the last part, line number 16 to 20. As a late winter's moon and felt that old family rack, my childhood's fear, but all I said was, see you soon, Amma. All I did was smile and smile and smile. So, in these lines, the poet compares her mother's face with the sight of the moon on a night towards the end of winter. This made her recall the thing 
she had been most afraid of during her childhood and what was that it was the fear that her mother would die one day and she is going to lose her this was the fear that had plagued her many times before and she was feeling same again right now however she did not let that fear show on her face instead she put up a brave face and waved goodbye to her mother she assured her mother that they would be seeing each other soon again and all the while even though she was in great agony she smiled and smiled and the smile never left her face so she didn't want her mother to feel that she was feeling sad let's work on the summary together This poem is one of the best examples of bonding in humans especially the bond between a mother and a daughter. This poem defines the fear of the author of losing her mother. Aging aging is an inescapable phase of every human's life. We cannot escape being growing old, right? A person enters his or her childhood experiences adolescence when he or she is energetic and has so many dreams finally every person approaches the old age and then the last phase which is called death relationship between people become much stronger in every phase of life no one can bear the separation from their loved ones just because of aging So in the poem when at first when the author goes to the Cochin airport with her mother she looks at her carefully and presents before us her image right so as she looks at her mother's soft and whitish face she gets stuck with the fear of losing her mother her mother with a sleepy face and open mouth is comparable to a corpus you know a box where dead bodies are kept here the author shows love and affection in a relationship between a mother and a daughter the poet is hurt and sad and shifts her attention outside of the car and she just looked outside of the window okay so she just did that so that she would drive her undesirable feelings okay she changes her bad mood the scene from the window of the car is of rising life and energy the fast sprinting green and huge trees alongside the cheerfully playing kids this represents life youth and vitality the poet here is remembering about her own childhood in her childhood her mother was young and beautiful whereas now her mother is surrounded by the fear of losing her life and that made her insecure and sad then she reaches the airport to take her flight it shows departure and parting which makes her sad as she said goodbye to her mother the image of the old mother in the dusk of years strikes her here a simile is comparable with the late night moon of the winters right the light of the moon is an obstacle by the fog and haze as she appears older now moving forward the poet is now feeling the pain of getting separated because of leaving her mother her childhood fear of losing her mother her loving mother now became so terrifying because she knows the reality that now her mother could die of old age any time you know we cannot predict nobody can predict what time she can die so she is so sad that she starts crying slowly without control but keeping a brave heart she hides her tears and starts smiling thus she offers her farewell to her old mother and keeps her hope of seeing her mother alive again she says see you soon amma remember to the last side 
She hides her tears and sorrow as she does not want to make a painful and emotional environment. Moreover, she doesn't want her mother to cry and wants to show her that she is enjoying her life. She expects her mother to be happy and enjoy her life just like her. So this is all about summary. Let's move to the conclusion of the poem. So here we are. This poem revolves around the beautiful relationship between the poet and her mother. It shows the theme of the advancing age of the mother of the author and the fear of separation. This apparently short poem touches upon the theme of a beautiful bond between the mother and the daughter and it shows how beautiful a relationship a mother and daughter can have. So the message of the poem is aging is a natural process and it will affect each one of us. It is reality, okay? The complexity of life is that children are disturbed by the condition of their parents and they wish to be with them. However, they have to leave their parents behind and move on with their commitments because they do have their own lives. The question arises how to strike a balance between looking after the aging parents and attending to our duties and responsibilities simultaneously. And for this, everybody has his or her own answer. Let's move to the poetic devices. So in this simile, metaphor, repetition, apostrophe, imagery and personification are used let us talk about each of it in detail so the first one is simile this poetic device is used when an overt comparison is made between two different things let's see how her face ashen like that of a corpus this line is of poem Poet sees mother dozing off with her mouth open, almost like a corpus. Okay, so you can see there is a comparison. It seems to have lost all vitality. The gray color of ash is usually associated with a dead body, right? Triggers the pain of losing her mother who is close to death. Moving to next is one pale as a lack winter moon it's late right so it's late winter moon so here it reinforces the idea that the mother's face was pale and lifeless like that of a fading winter moon winter is symbolic of the last cycle of the season right so that's why there is comparison hence warning moon means mother's frail health misted by age is indicative of imminent death. So poet resorts to escapism to avoid the harsh realities goes that stare her in the face. And it dispels the horrifying thoughts by diverting her attention to the images of the young trees and married children. So let's see the next, it's metaphor. In this poetic device, we use applied comparison. So it is used when a word or phrase is applied to an object or action to which it is not literally applicable. So in this poem, the poet uses the device of metaphor in line when she speaks, trees sprinting, the married children spilling out of their homes. To show the contrary image of her mother's age and approaching end. Moving to the next is repetition. So in this rhetorical device, this rhetorical device is used when a word or phrase is repeated in a piece of literature. For example, smile and smile and smile. 
so this emphasizes on the fact that she made a desperate effort to cover up her guilt anxiety and agonizing thought of her mother's impending death by putting up a smile to bid her a cheerful adieu moving to the next one is apostrophe this poetic device is used when a poet addresses his or her poem to an absent audience let's see how in this poem the poet uses the device of apostrophe when she speaks directly to her mother addressing her as amma you must remember at the last even though we never see the mother replying to the poet so it means the poet is directly talking to the person there next one is imagery it is a part of the figurative language in a literary work whereby the author uses vivid images to describe a phenomenon and here the imagery used in the poem is suggestive of both death and youth the imagery of youth that young trees and merry children are a contrast to the mother Merry children spilling out of their homes means here it's youthful and exuberant spring of life that is contrast to the morbid atmosphere inside the car and the old mother that who is weak frail and inactive and the last one is personification so this figure of speech is used to bestow human qualities on something that is not human let's see how when it says young trees sprinting the sprinting movement of the trees rushing past signify youth life of passage of time the mother traveling in the car lifeless helpless decayed by age her instinctive awareness lead to the familiar act painful realization of helplessness that what is that that she cannot share her fears with her mother okay so her fears stand out of unknown right so it didn't she didn't want to worry her mother so here there is fear of separation that childhood fear is that in her mind so it inherent in all children nobody wants to lose parents right and it's of losing one's loved ones and it is also fear of death now let's talk about the theme very important part of the poem my mother at 66 captures the fear of the narrator of losing her mother due to declining health and loss of energy which accompanies old age the poet accepts this reality and is disturbed by her mother's need for her on one hand and her own duties and responsibilities on the other hand she wants to take care of her mother as well as she has her own family she has to take care of that also so she is you know bit confused this helplessness is poignantly brought out in this poem the emotions experienced by the poet are essentially universal in nature the fear of losing a loved one is a theme the reader can identify with right so this poem is in the form of a narrative of 14 lines written as a single sentence this is called anzac the poem is written in a single sentence punctuated by commas you can see the poem again to understand these lines this highlights the stream of consciousness effect where one thought leads to another this poem is based on the theme of advancing age and the fear of loss and separation associated with it the poetess undergoes a plethora of emotions 
when she sees her mother aging and feels the pangs of separation at the thought of losing her mother she must be feeling guilty of not being able to stay with her mother the poem is written in a single sentence which indicates the single thread of thought right you can see in the examples the loss of beauty and charm and approaching death and decay let's move to the last part of this explanation where we are going to talk about the significance or it can also be called the appropriateness of the title so the title is app as the poem is about the narrator's realization that time has flown by and old age has crept up on her mother so this poem revolves around the theme of advancing age the fear associated with it and loss and separation with this the explanation of the poem is over i hope you must have understood it in detail so all the best for your further studies and a big thank you for your time